Well, it's a little bit uh, difficult to do the stuff like this, but I think that um, it's more embarrassing for Polish government than myself, uh, the situation they got me in. I should say they got themselves in. Uh, today, uh, I just want to do a little, <clears throat> let's call this a schizophrenia movie, documentary, because it's the stuff that you shouldn't talk about, and if you will, of course, it's a paranoia, it's a schizophrenia. Um, Heather Noert, ugh, ugh, I knew her. Pff. 2008, 2006, whatever. Long, long time. Donald Trump's babe. I'm not saying his babe, in his team, let's say. Let's go. Uh, what you have seen with my Android is just a normal regular procedure <clears throat> Then you have this lady here Rachel whatever <clears throat> Why have I pointed out Miss Heather is because She's such a babe, you know such an Aryan babe. Now oh, look. I don't have nothing against the Aryan beauty. I like this Women are very beautiful. Everything is nice perfect now look at this one here, wow. Look, I know about her coming on political stage way before this news was published, way ahead. Part of the Donald Trump's plan, part of not only Donald Trump's plan, but part of deep American state was to use exactly what you see here to promote through the money uh, now this is the question what exactly to promote that's what I'm really really worried about and this is why this schizophrenia movie now, this is stuff that worries me uh, this morning I have posted I have posted on my blogger The news about Scandinavian, in this case foremost Swedish type of economy, um, which is related deeply to discrimination, to the racism in fact, which applies especially to this part of the Poland. Uh, but since I have seen this news that follow up just about like 40 minutes ago, it was posted on the internet. Definitely, what is it here? 9.34, whatever, about maybe one hour after I have posted my news about. Uh, I'll go to that news if you want. Uh, in this news here. Southern Poland beat burned doll with a stereotypical Jewish features before Easter. I was thinking about because my news related to this part of the Poland. So uh, I am recording things now. Uh, I am cut frequently when I record the stuff. Whatever that I do is a problem. And uh, you know, every time you're cut, you have to repair the video, then you have to, you know, it doesn't matter when the program is newly installed, it works. Once you restart the Android the tablet, then what happens is uh, it works like all others, it will restart itself. Uh, they 
trigger other mechanisms like Bluetooth and so on. And this is how Mr. Kaczynski thinks is gonna, it's, it's an easy, funny ride. But we're gonna see how easy and funny this is gonna be, really. Because this ride is coming to an end, in my opinion. Uh, this was the news I have published this morning. Now we're gonna see this news here. It's gonna get less and less funny for you, Mr. Kaczynski. It's not gonna it's not gonna end up too well this. You see, the news was related to American racism, uh, which I have explained in the very video. Uh, right where you can see right there. Uh, yeah, it was foremost Swedes, but Swedes did this on behalf of Germans. They acted with such self-confidence. They would target this population, especially here in the heart of the Poland. Right in the center of the Poland, this Zgirsch watch people would really bother them, disturb them. Um, Something they deemed was non-European, and sure enough, Mr. Kaczynski took their side. Uh, and now we have it. Uh, everything is done, just as I have explained. And you have a real schizophrenia. Not me. I don't have any schizophrenia, but now you have a real schizophrenia out there. You have a real schizophrenics running on a political stage as well, media. Uh, pulling out strengths that are just really calling for the hatred. Uh, I mean, this is a real paranoia. This is a real schizophrenia. When you go out there and you start to beat dolls that have Jewish features, whatever, you are mentally sick. There is no doubt about that stuff. Uh, we did learn that from the World War II. When you are, you know, we will get to that stuff here. Uh, but here's what it is. Look, they did this stuff. They, they literally conditioned investments into Poland with the deal to get rid of this Jewish DNA, which is very present here, especially in this part of the Poland. The problem, the biggest problem for the people who have bitten this doll with the Jewish features, however, is that they were beating themselves up. Look, I am not from Poland. On me, I believe you're not going to even find any Jewish features. I don't think I have any Jewish features at all. I think I have none. But you're going to find hardly a Polish person that doesn't have Jewish features. Unfortunately, is so. If you just dislike it so much, I think it's hot. I think these women are beautiful here. I think they are beautiful, beautiful women. I love this community here. I love the people in Lodz. I love the people in Zgirsch. And I am thankful for them, uh, for, for their help, for, for everything they have done to me. But, you know, just unfortunately for some people that just dislike themselves so much, um, I know that, and that's why I, I posted the news that, by the way, that I hate State of the Israel for re-electing Benjamin Netanyahu. That this is like, you know, what Benjamin Netanyahu did here in Poland, I did not even get to that. This man split this community here. There was no racism. There was nothing. It was a harmony since the World War II ended. People loved one another. Um, it was respect. Uh, people have not seen this Jewish feature, still this idiot popped up here with his crew, Israeli crew, that would go and they would paint graffiti all over the Zgirsch and Lodge and insult, laugh into the people, go around, challenge, because Jews from Israel believe they're going to get better deals, like a money-related deals, if they're going to go and bully people and demonstrate to others as well as to the Polish people alone that there is a racism here, that there is a racist problem here. And this is something that Benjamin Netanyahu learned basically how to 
kill the person, how to murder the person, myself, through to me, and earn money this way. That's why I said that Israel is the filthiest nation in the globe, in the world. And make no mistake, you're going to continue with Benjamin Netanyahu and you're going to have some very unpleasant news, believe me. You will have it. Look, I am just what I am. I just stand up for the truth. To me, the truth, the humanity is more important than your... You know, fear mongering, whatever it is you do with this psychiatrist, whatever shit you have created with my life, and then you have dared to even, you know, torture and I don't know what you have done and suggest if you're gonna mention the news like this, you're gonna be seen as a schizophrenic, paranoid, and so on. By the way, with which we already have diagnosed you and torture and so on. F you. Excuse me. For me, the people are more important. The truth and people are more important. Why? You know, if not, then this case should not even exist. Basically, is how I feel about the whole thing. It exists. The economy exists because of me, because of what I have created. And I am ashamed. I am sorry. I am very sorry. I regret. And I will do my best I can to reverse as much as possibly I can reverse from what I have created. It should never be the case... This news here, look, yeah, about 45 minutes after, hour after you have this news about how this witch was bitten up and so on, we're going to get to this news here. That's why I said maybe the witch today have bitten herself up uh, because... You know, my dear Polish people, if, well, I didn't finish that. From where I am coming from, your facial features, I got to tell you that most of you would be recognized as having these Jewish features. I just have to, really, for those that hate these Jewish features, I just have to disappoint you because you probably hate yourself without even realizing it. These people with these features, not only here, it's in Warsaw, it's exactly in this part of the Poland where that news came from, and so on and so forth. Look, I'm going to put it this way here. Look at this. You see this building here? This is the biggest intelligence building headquarters in the world. They were worth $1.7 billion, and sometimes in 2013, might have been that I was brought in here by Angela Merkel, her team, and she told me, I knew about this before, but I was brought back, it must have been 13, 15, I think it was already in 13, this here was how much money we owe you personally for this case. This was evaluated at 1.7 billion dollars, by the way. It's a pretty decent amount of money, really. Not so decent when you think that some little Vladimir Putin have managed to steal about $200 billion from Russian people for doing really nothing. Um, doing basically what anybody else could do. Doing nothing, creating nothing, just stealing ideas from other people and so on. That's a pretty decent amount of money. Uh, and that 40% of the Russian people today, young people, want to run across the border is basically what he created. That's a lot of money for that kind of job. In 2013, it was in 2013, this building was already occupied with the Germans' intelligence. They already had... This building is connected with other parts of Berlin underground. They had office where I was inside, computers. Uh, they had, uh, they have like, like a news agency inside. It's like you would go to the, like, let's say when I was in Miami, they had me in 
I think it's what is it Miami Times or something like this I don't even know but it's a it's it was a building located along the Biscay there is a building I was inside and you, basically people people right here are people that designed the news and then this news is basically distributed through the news through the media uh, to the public planned well in advance uh, then you have these different names different branches of newspapers and they publish the news this is how basically that's done you see this lady here um, this is a pretty lady really is a pretty lady uh, Nadine Bernay is a 28 year old Miss Germany in 2015 Frau Merkel because of because the Germans knew eventually this thing is gonna come out you see in original concept supposedly there were Germans that Scandinavians and so on that would insist and insist and insist till the case would be finished and then um, they would not Swedes gesture they would not even invest in Poland till I'm gonna come on stage here in Poland and identify this people here as Jews and shit like this and then the money would be distributed to Poland through to me literally what I would say it's good it's where the money would go and stuff like that this is the shit they came up with and the truth is that they have created so many scenario like exit scenarios that all kinds of stuff but what pissed me more than anything was when I went to this last part of them Kyotra when I identify as Gersh when this Gersh and good people my, I love these people really I love them they <laughs> you're gonna see when I go when I go over these videos you know they just they just want to help as much as they possibly could help in this whole thing in the end they wanted to make them seem through my eyes like traitors and, and stuff like this which at one point I go I go off because I felt so stupid that in 2017 really they have allowed Russians and uh, basically to uh, to cluster the whole MK Ultra deal inside of this stores in front of the owners but you know the owners really couldn't do anything and I really apologize for that matter I didn't realize the whole thing what was all about hey I love these people really I love you and thank you for everything you have done for me um, the lady that you see here this was also one of the scenarios you have the building 1.7 billion and you have an idea that um, you know like offer you're gonna work in an intelligence in the field of intelligence in Germany and this and that are you gonna be a rock star the man who changed the world through his subconscious basically uh, a new commercial for the German intelligence and you have this beautiful beautiful German girl here now at the time this was younger girl but she already was a police officer so that must have been I don't know when she became a police officer in Germany you're gonna have a money and she will be your wife and I Angela Merkel have personally picked her up you will recognize her you will see her and this and that and yeah, oh, that's why I call this news schizophrenia news unfortunately I cannot afford myself not to talk about one it's too damn important uh, you know the word is guided it's a news that doesn't happen really because it would be because something is happening but because it's so regulated it's so guided that I really call one a schizophrenia news because public doesn't see any longer what really matters in this whole thing it's scary it's a scary shit that goes on and it's a frantic type of attitude I see in public that are just doing like completely crazy mindless things like the one that I have just spoken about this beating up this switch and stuff like this 
basically beating yourself up stuff that you know shouldn't worry you so much you should be worrying about how you're gonna you know preserve yourself how you're gonna be how you're gonna survive how you're gonna uh, you know get jobs how you're gonna run the economy properly how you're not going to be forced into death basically through social engineering this is what i'm talking about and yeah i know that it appears that some things could be easier done in some other forms and so but poland is just one country that was targeted so much by this scandinavian german neo-nazis that is just freaking scary and because i have determined and this is the message of scandinavians that this woman here are really beautiful in poland and i really love the community the community holds with one another this is what i like really very much i like all the younger children women everything is really i like uh, there really is no need for this kind of stuff to do um this is why i have to come forward and talk about this thing i can't really afford myself to you know this little pity shit they did to me a uh, lots of stuff they did and it was the police, Polish police alone that was involved in this stuff. And they told me, this is the stuff you're not going to be able to talk about. Even they talked about this kind of stuff. Because you're going to talk about this kind of stuff they did. It's going to be paranoia. It's going to be a schizophrenia and shit like this. You know, these little things, they're done actually to stop this big shit. Big stuff I'm talking about right now. That matters and that concerns people. This is not a paranoia schizophrenia case. This is a case that is a proven case with the facts, with hardcore proofs that every police, every intelligence knows is a factual case. Because the stuff I came with is just undisputable factual. You cannot go in a one foreign country and then recognize the whole towns, how they were built. People, store owners and businesses and so on. you can't do that unless you really were there and i really damn it's important to stop this i'm gonna refrain myself from this word donald trump's team that he assembled such as neo-nazi elon musk i am not sure about the amazon founder himself mr jeff bezos but he is coming from that same team and it's a whole variety of the same kind of Elon Musk-alike people, like the lady that you have seen right there, that are really coming from this deep, hardcore, deep neo-Nazi family from deep American state. I don't like that. I don't like it. Uh, I'm going to put it this way. We are part of the Europe, and we want to remain part of the Europe. Everything is okay. Uh, when it comes to mixing with the people, it's I don't have nothing against the Germans. I don't have nothing against the Scandinavians. Believe me, this lady here is gorgeous. She's very beautiful. The thing is that this has got to be done in a natural way, in a humane way, and not by deselecting people, basically selecting the whole territories of the country, like, you know basically sentencing people to death if you want to come to poland the way i see it uh and live here for love get the lady uh you know like her whatever or male whatever uh marry her for what she is whatever if you like if you like it and so on uh you know get the job live a normal life this is a good thing this is nothing wrong with it it's a lot of americans that are discriminated against and germans who by the way so many have also these jewish features also this jewish dna uh that they should be granted also the right to come here just like polish people immigrate to britain and germany and france and us and so on and so forth but you know it's really really important that this polish community holds together like one as one uh, and protect not only interests in country, in this country here inside of the Poland, 
but also those interests in Chicago and you know abroad of Poland, elsewhere Polish people are. Um, she is a police officer, the lady that you see right there, and Angela Merkel suggested, you know, she insisted on how evil, you know, these people here are. They would not leave me in peace, but once you marry her, she is a police officer, and you have the money, and we're going to find a way that you finally going to have a peace. Let's go back to this news here. You see this? Because we don't want to end up like this, folks. This is this is this is a little bit more than than this is the news of today too. Uh, this is a little bit more. Look at this. I want to get rid of my Polish accent. Is it such a gorgeous woman? Look at her, how beautiful she is. Hello. But you know, of course, we go through the same procedure because <laughs> this is how this is done. Okay. Then what I do, as you see here, there's a whole selection of videos because, you know, they just go and blink and collapse. Browsers collapse. This, you have videos, they don't complete. But this is a really good program because it gives you this option here. And voila, bing, and it's done. Let's go back to news. No, this is so, so funny. Um, I assume that this is funny to Mr. Kaczynski or something like this. But I want him to know that I am in seriously in now to stay in the game i'm not going anywhere uh they did a lot of stuff but i am staying right here in poland i love it here things are gonna get really complicated um for some people it's not gonna be so easy look i want you to see this thing you see this is why this is why this video because you see this witch this terrible witch maybe just this one right here look Maybe she was the one who beat herself up. Look at her. You see? And so I just want you to see, I just want Poland to, and also world to see what's going on. Why not to see this thing here? This is important stuff. And it's not okay what's happening. I just want you to see that you got two witches right there. And they're beautiful. And they, if you ask me, the one, the one that right doesn't even have any Jewish features. Hello. We fly to England. I said to myself that I can't be here anymore, that I felt that I'm not belong here anymore because I felt like they don't want uh, people from abroad. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know. <laughs> because I love this place. I love this everything here and definitely one of the best th thing in my life was that my little was born here, you know. Sure is an angel. Uh, I don't like this kind of uh, when politic. I this isn't for me. Brexit, uh, my neighbor was not polite to me. Uh, they was not saying hello to me anymore. They was um, not nice. Very hard for me because like I built my life 10 years here and I left everything and I went back to Poland. Bing Bing, uh, I already have repaired that file. Uh, it's right there on the bottom as you see it. And this is how Mr. Kaczynski, I guess, that he uh, see, uh, you know, how easy things are done just like that. You do it and it's all good. It's all nice. Oh, to me, um, to me, when I think about all this stuff, uh, it doesn't even cross my mind that I would like be choosing in between 
um, you know, something like this, and, and I don't know what, something what, I mean, excuse me, really. Very beautiful lady, I don't know, is she a citizen over there in Britain, she's crying now, whatever, uh, things have changed for her, this one here is a shame of her, Polish, beautiful Polish accent, and so on, I don't know. Um, I think if you get a lady like this for wife, and I think you have hit the jackpot, I think. Um, you see, um, this is not okay. Um, maybe people in southern Poland, whatever, they have beaten up this, um, you know, lady with uh, witch, witch, with the Jewish features, maybe they should think over the whole thing. Uh, to me, the, this this is uh, doesn't sound doesn't sound sound. Okay. No. Poland has got to get compensated for the Warsaw, Germans burned Warsaw, Germans burned Poland, and Poland needs to be rebuilt. Um, not with the Donald Trump team, like behind, like behind uh, some kind of a shady, crazy deals like this, that you're going to have some neo-Nazis hand the money out and stuff like this, but through the agreements. You know, like compensation agreement that you have done this and this and this to the country. Okay, and uh, of course, uh, you know, they are pretty busy today. The people are pretty busy here today. Very, I, I acknowledge, very active. Um, well, they usually are monitoring this like a hawks, whatever I do. But so let's go and repair this thing. And so we're going to complete this video. And so... Because you know this is this is how it is, and it should be demonstrated how how far this in this thing here. You see, the thing about me is I am a non-violent. Uh, if you already want to call me a schizophrenic, that's fine too. I am called all kinds of names. I don't give a shit about because I know still who I am, what I am. As long as voice of God is going to be louder in me than voices around me, that's completely fine. I don't care what people call me, what they, that's, that's okay. Um, I'm not violent, but you cannot say the same thing for Mr. Kaczynski. I have to say that. This is a very serious form of violence. And so Mr. Kaczynski built a beautiful case against himself, I think. A big one too. The place where I was working was very... No. And this is how, uh, after she was bitten up, you can see her also, she's crying. The witch is crying. Is it? Oh, they the cut the internet now. Oh my gosh, they way. cut the internet now. This is a regular. This is a regular thing. They cut the internet. See, because they have the power of the internet. Imagine this. See, Mr. Kaczynski is almighty. I mean, I am just being really sarcastic here. Uh, if you ask me, this is a regular loser that doesn't have absolutely any future. You're going to see people going to get up, stand up, uh, thanks for watching this video so that we would not have any longer because this is the case. A real schizophrenics, a real schizophrenics running in this country and Russia. Uh, the other day, young girl 
in a ghost shop reminded me of there is no job sir there is no jobs here in Sgurgeon watch there is no jobs here in Sgurgeon watch there was no jobs here and they have no plan on bringing jobs here and so on and so forth um the internet i don't know i'm just gonna have to find the cut the internet everywhere now i'm just gonna have to go and find some kind of a hot spot here in this part of the um Zgir suburb maybe whatever you want to call this village that is remote place without any cafe internet cafes other than library is what i was told that's an internet cafe that's where the wi-fi was also available but since the lady are very and got so upset with me uh that also no longer is the case all right thank you for watching and i all wish beautiful wonderful day bye bye Do widzenia.